Hi friends and fellow Disney fans. Today is day three of our Disney Alaskan cruise. We're gonna have some Mickey churro waffles, see some characters in their Alaskan outfits, see the glacier, and also go to some trivia and have some fun dinner at Animator's Palette. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. What's happening, Jamie? Okay, so we are on the icy strait and a small boat is getting ready to tender because it's gonna have an Alaskan expert, I think it's a local, and they're gonna come on board the ship and show us which glacier we should go to today for the best viewing. So check it out, it's pretty cool. There they are, Jamie, they've- Yeah, they dropped off the expert, he is on board now and uh, now they're leaving. Pretty cool. I don't know why they couldn't just radio it. Like, hey, the best glacier is over here, but. Because in Alaska, they do things different. <laughs> yeah, and maybe they actually have to take you, you know? Like, they can't just be like, go to these coordinates, right? But I can feel snow. I told you it's snow, it's not ash. Yeah, it's that cold in August. That's crazy. I'm really glad I brought this yeah. really warm. <laughs> okay, Mickey's out in his Alaska rain gear. It's the best thing ever. Look at this. the absolute cutest, but the lineup is huge. They say it's, he's out for 10 minutes and they shut off the line pretty quick. Look how long this line is and it's on not a great day. So when it comes to the on deck characters on day number three, you want to get here early if you want a picture with them because they are popular. So we're at Cabana's and uh, haven't been here yet, but we discovered what might be the most exciting development in Disney Cruise Line, Mickey Churro Waffles. He looks a little rough. They all, I'm noticing the churro ones look rough, but the question is how do they taste? That's the only thing that matters. It just tastes like a sugary waffle. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well. We just made friends and I got pixie dusted with a cute tote. Isn't that cute? That's awesome. And they gave Nolan a Guardians of the Galaxy pouch. Awesome. Amazing. That's so cool. I love Disney Cruise. <laughs> I know. Everyone's pretty sure they just saw a whale and it's really funny what happens. Look at this. <laughs> This whole side of the ship turns into whale watchers. Hey, babe. Hey, I've seen like six whales. Six whales. I don't actually know. It could have been just two. Were they, they kept on going up the Were top. they breaching her, or did you just no, see kind of no, there? I did see one tail, and then I saw the hump, and then they'd go like, you know, do that thing. And then we saw one little piece of ice floating. So there's going to be some floating ices coming up. So apparently, it starts to get exciting out here in about two hours yeah, around noon. Around 11 and 12. That's when 12 to we see, 12 to 1 is what they said. 12 to 1. That's when we see the glacier kind of. Yeah. They said we're supposed to go forward, and if we can deal with the cold, it's the best to get up uh, on deck 10. We're doing it. We can deal with the cold. We're Canadian. We got this. I have to say one of my favorite things about being on this Alaska cruise is on Glacier Day, the 20 people on the ship that are borderline psychotic but really want a pool unhindered by other human beings, it's like their day to shine. There's still a few people in the pool. And again, I'm Canadian. It's cold enough, I'm not even considering it. There's like 10 people in the pool. It's weird. Okay, so I bought this from the little cart that they have out on the icy straight day. And I was so excited because it says 2023 Alaska Disney Wonder. It was $17 and then it came with either, they filled it up with hot chocolate or coffee. And he told me that the coffee comes from Coke, so it's not like the regular coffee from the buffet or anything. But the thing, the selling point was, he's like, there's only like three left of these. And I was like, are you just doing that to like try and sell me? And he was like, no, 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 I wouldn't do that to you, madam. You know, and I was like, okay. So then I buy it and then I look and there's a coffee cart that rolls out after his. And there's like probably 50 on there. <laughs> Same thing. Like there is not only three left. <laughs> so she got taken by a dishonest salesperson. But if you want to work with someone who's not a dishonest salesperson, contact Jamie Thomas with Click the Mouse for a cruise. That's right. I'll offer you up to $1,000 in onboard credit for your Disney Alaska cruise. And then you can come and buy a $17 mug filled with better coffee. It is true. It's better coffee. I'm drinking stuff from just the machine over here, and it's awful. So we've been waiting for a while, but we're finally about to meet Mickey. Boys, who are you meeting? Mickey, Mickey's here. You Ship. That's a good question, Jamie. What? Mickey's here. Who's controlling the ship? Oh, 
Oh, iceberg straight ahead. Behind the cranky teenager. <laughs> First iceberg. made my way up to the top deck just to check out kind of the glacier viewing and we're going through this channel that basically has mountains on both sides absolutely gorgeous the waters turned to this kind of teal color again if you've only ever been on caribbean cruises this is such a different experience and well just look at this so we're up on top deck now found jamie now we're seeing the glacier and we're seeing the waterfall. It's absolutely beautiful. So we're at the front of the ship. Where they have blanket, hot chocolate, and adult hot chocolate. Ooh, so. Yeah. And, and our sun is a little cold, but. That might have to do with eating children. many ice creams. Yeah. So we have done Disney Cruise Line trivia probably five or six times on the cru Disney Cruises. Always lo lost. We've learned the key to winning is going during the glacier viewing because you'll only have to go against two other teams <laughs> and you can just destroy everyone. It's awesome. We got really lucky. We did. Well, no, we didn't get lucky. We've taken that test so many times and a lot of the questions are the same and we still got four wrong out of 20. But hey, a win is a win. Did we win by default? Kind yes. of. Yes. Kind Did of. Did we have a good time? Yes. yes. <laughs> what does it say? Dear Karis, we truly hope you have a wonderful vacation full of magical memories. Please accept this sprinkle of pixie dust from Captain Mickey. Have a wonderful day. Now, Karis, why did you get this sprinkle of pixie uh, so dust? So I got locked in their elevator for about 10 minutes, and then they were like, what's your room number? We'll send you a present. So get stuck in a Disney elevator and get a, get a fun, fun treat. <laughs> Let me see what's all in there. You got some Rice Krispies. Oh yeah, just open it. Unboxing. 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 Popcorn. Nice. Cute ears. Those ears are so cute. Are those the uh, 25th anniversary ones? No. They're just... 25th anniversary is blue. And then Ooh. I got some of these. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Get it for the camera. I'm not really hungry. <laughs> they actually look like the 100th anniversary ears. They're very yeah. nice. Very nice. Guys, this is why you want a balcony on your Alaskan cruise. We are able to see the glacier right from our balcony. It's amazing and stunning. The blue, the colors, and the little um, glaciers floating around. It's so relaxing and beautiful to be out here. If you uh, go on the top deck, you can also see the glacier, but you're gonna get all the wind. Here we have it kind of covered. It's not gonna be as cold, and plus it's private and way less crowded. Up there is crazy crowded. Now they do have hot chocolate and blankets up there, which is really nice, and uh, you can get some really nice pictures head on but the captain actually rotates the ship so each balcony can get a nice view of the glacier so try to kind of rotate it through and it's absolutely stunning guys there is an excursion that you can pay for it was crazy expensive I want to say it was probably two to four hundred dollars per person and that will get you like right up next to the glacier you can even have like a glacier drink where they put ice water in but uh you know I, I kind of just like being here and chilling and we've had a great day on the ship one other thing i want to say too is if you are doing the itinerary where you have the icy straight this is included with your uh you know cruise so you are basically getting the ship brought right up to the glacier and you don't have to pay anything else for for this kind of view this excursion it's just all included with that itinerary which is pretty phenomenal a little bit of a hint for your disney alaskan cruise i was a little stressed trying to figure out when should i be up on board and listening to all the announcements to make sure i don't miss the glacier they stay by the glacier for hours and as long as you have a veranda they rotate the ship multiple times so you can get a full view from your room so you really don't need to stress out about it just what a brilliant beautiful day you're gonna love it next time you're on this boat so we just ordered some room service and are coming out and enjoying the views and 
just want to show you how blue the water is on this little icy stream. It's like turquoise, it's right? It's turquoise and you have little glaciers there. It's just absolutely stunning. It's so cool. And the family is now enjoying one of the best parts of a Disney cruise. Free room service. So the frozen show up on the deck, freezing the night away, was canceled because of the weather, pushed to tomorrow. So instead, they did a uh, dance party in the foyer uh, in the atrium, and Claire loved it, got to dance with all her favorite characters. Disney does such a good job of kind of adjusting when things don't go as planned. Pretty cool. So what night is tonight, Jamie? Tonight is a frozen night. However, it's got postponed. <laughs> but in the restaurant, it's frozen night. It is, yeah. And? But the stage show, Freezing the Night Away, has been postponed. Well, what's really cool is they've got uh, a frozen-themed menu, which is actually pretty good. Well, we're going to see if it's pretty good. I'm going to need a volunteer. Oh, I will, I will, I will. Okay. You raise the hand first. I just need, shh, do you say stop? But make sure to say stop before the deck of cards is finished to fall down, okay? Stop. Oh, pick up that card and show for the family, not for me. Okay. Okay, okay we've all seen it. Yeah, all my cards different, no? Yeah. Are you gonna guess what's your card? First, I'm gonna guess the color. Most of the drinks on the table are black. So I go for the contrary. I believe it's a red color car. Uh, yeah. Yes? Yes. It's a red color car? Yeah. I'm gonna guess the figure now because if it's red, it can be diamond or heart. It's hard. That's it's correct. Hard. Yeah, it's hard. Your card is? It's five of hearts. No? Uh. Don't worry, don't worry. I still have 12 chances. <laughs> Seven of hearts. No. no? Okay. I'm gonna do something even more challenging. You know what? It's difficult to guess. So I'm gonna I'm gonna transform all the playing cards. All of them is gonna be your card. What about that? Alright. Yeah? Pay attention. One, two, and bam! Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> bam. Bam. You know what I did? No. No. You flicked us. Jamie, can you leave your plate? No. What? <laughs> what? So tonight was super fun, even though freezing the night away was postponed. That was kind of a bummer, but they had to do it for weather and Animator's palette was all dressed up, the Frozen themed. Huge tip, you guys. If you are doing this cruise, you want to request to do Animator's palette three times because having it on the Frozen night is so magical. It's all decorated and it's just gorgeous. You end up with basically three separate kind of shows. You have the one where Mickey comes out and effectively does a small version of Fantastic you get the Frozen show and then of course you get the animating your own character so really awesome tip from Jamie here so we want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch if you are interested in a Disney cruise you can contact me I am a travel agent specializing in Disney vacation so I can give you lots of tips and help you be all prepared best of all when you book with Jamie her services are not only completely free but she offers up to a thousand dollars in onboard credit that's like free money for you to spend on the cruise and just enjoy yourself depending on of course how much you spend that's right so you can contact me via email jamiethomasshow at gmail.com or you can contact me through the website website www.clickthemouse.ca slash Jamie quote. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Take a moment, like and subscribe, and we will see you next week for tomorrow's vlog. Thanks Bye. guys. Bye.